Hi, welcome to Think Human. I'm Chris, and in this video, I want to talk about quantum communication. Communication using quantum entanglement, and why, as far as we know, we can't use this interesting phenomena for communication. So quantum entanglement essentially is if you have two particles that are linked in a special way, you can separate them by whatever arbitrary distance very far apart. And you can observe one of these particles and you immediately know what the other particle will be. And people have proposed and a lot of imagination and fantasy has gone wild. People thinking about what if we could use this for communication and first time. In fact, uh, when I heard about this uh, phenomenon as well, I thought also to myself, like, how interesting would it be? Could we actually send information faster than light? And truly, you can have these two particles. One would be on Earth, another one would be like light years away. And this effect would be instantaneous. You could measure one particle and you know what the other particle will be instantaneously, faster than the speed of light. And we have no idea what the actual mechanism of this is, like how does this thing work? Now, when we look at it a bit closer, what becomes clear is that it isn't actually information that's traveling faster than light, but something strange is happening. So a way to think about it is we could imagine having two balls. You have one blue ball and one red ball and you put them both in a box and you know that there is one blue ball somewhere and one red ball somewhere but you mix the boxes up so you have no idea where the blue one is or where the red one is so you leave one box on earth for example and then you take the other box and leave light years and light years away you can go to the other side of the galaxy and then you can open the box and let's say you see the blue ball now immediately opening the box you see the blue ball and now you know there is one blue ball one red ball so the other ball must be red you know this instantaneously so but did you get any new information yes you kind of did but this isn't really useful information now the same thing would be with quantum entanglement you get some information but this information isn't useful to you as soon as you open the box, this effect goes away. There is no way to set up the particles for them to be useful for you later for some kind of information transfer. And I think this is quite a good example because there is a system and you don't know a single thing about it, but the value of information is kind of different. It's really well illustrated by this thing. You open the box and you see the blue ball and you know that the other one has to be red. It's the same idea with entanglement. But this isn't real information, this isn't real communication, you just discover something about the system. So I think this is a great way to think about it and this is a great example and illustration of why we cannot communicate using this quantum entanglement. It's a really strange effect, but looking at it this way we see quite simply why this cannot be used for any actual communication. Now who knows, like the universe is strange. We might figure out a way to bend the rules or discover something completely new, which would allow us some communication faster than light. This would massively violate some fundamental laws of physics. It would violate causality here and now and time and the speed of light, the speed of causality. All of that would be violated, but it's just interesting to think about. And I think we have only scratched the surface of what we truly know about this reality that we live in. So this is a short explanation of uh, why quantum entanglement cannot be used for communication. So I hope you got some interesting thoughts from this. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and take care.